Welcome to the Mia Noi Trading Company's YouTube channel. This channel is dedicated to the aviation fun experienced in the vintage aerobatic biplane, Mia Noi. Please take this moment to like and subscribe, so you too can enjoy the fun and excitement of aviation. Disclaimer. Aerobatics can put an airplane in some very unusual attitudes and place strains on the airframe. Thus this video is intended for information purposes only. The information contained is based solely on the experience of the pilot. This information is not designed to replace instruction from a qualified flight instructor. You should only practice in a certified aerobatic plane. Always work with a certified flight instructor who has extensive aerobatic experience. Now, let's have some fun. In this video, we are going to be doing some aileron rolls, high above El Capitan Reservoir in San Diego County, California. The aileron roll is also known as the basic roll. This is a simple maneuver. As you can see, the plane dives. This allows us to reach the target speed of around 120 miles per hour. The plane is then leveled off with the horizon. This is more for those who are looking to do competition. Then the nose of the plane is raised. Essentially, feet end up on the horizon. The stick is neutralized. Then hard left or right to enter the roll. During inversion the stick can be lightly pushed forward to keep the plane's nose from dropping. You should be careful not to push too hard in the inversion part. Watch when aerobatics goes wrong, to see what happens when too much force is used. When level, the plane is brought to the horizon. Again this is more for competition. Please take this opportunity to like and subscribe to the Mia Noi channel so that you can continue to enjoy the thrills and spills of aerobatics and aviation. At the end of this video is a sneak peek at the first attempt at a maneuver. Every pilot has a first attempt. So this is a first attempt at this maneuver. It is a hammerhead with a full rotation in the down motion. The issue with this is trying to get the rotation complete before the plane reaches its never exceed speed limit. Then you have to pull out ensuring that you do not exceed the rated maximum g-force on the airframe. It can be done, but there is little room for error. Not the cleanest. But it worked.
Please take this time to like, subscribe, and even write us a nice note. Welcome to the Aviation Family.